السلام عليكم كل مرحبا بكم في شان يوتيوب لا فالور ابسولي القناه التعليميه الخاصه بتلاميذ الاعدادي والثانوي اليوم درسنا في اللغه الانجليزيه باش يكون موجه لسنه الثانيه الاساسي باش نشوفوا الفرق مستعملات ايدا نيدا اند بوث سو ليتس ستارت وي يوز ايدا نيدا اند بوث when we are talking about two things let's start with both both is used for two people or two things used in affirmative sentences so it has a positive meaning and it takes a plural verb now let's see how to use both in a sentence both plus noun in the plural example both countries are in europe so here countries a plural noun and of course takes a plural verb two both of plus object pronoun example both of them or the countries are in Europe. Three, before or after the verb. They are both in Europe. They both have a high standard of living. So here, both is used after verb to be are. They are both. In the second example, it is used before the verb to have so they both have a high standard of living for both and is used when something is true for two people or things example both my sister and my brother are doctors so here instead of saying my sister is a doctor and my brother is a doctor we just use both and say both my sister and my brother are doctors. Five remark. You can use both after an object pronoun. Example. Both my sister and my brother are doctors. I love them both. So them is the object pronoun and then we used both. Let's move on to see the uses of neither. So here, حب نعطي ملاحظة صغيرة. فما برشا يقولوا في النطق نتاعهم مش يبالهم neither وإلا neither واحدة فيها مسيحة والأخرى غلطة. No, both are correct. So we can say neither or neither. So neither is used to make a negative statement about two people or two things at the same time. Neither is used in affirmative sentences and takes a plural or singular verb. Let's move on to see how to use neither in a sentence. So we use neither plus singular countable noun. Example. Neither parent came to meet the teacher. It means the mother didn't come and the father didn't come as well. Another example. Neither dress fitted her. So the meaning here that there were two dresses and not one of them fitted the girl. Second, neither of plus object pronoun plural countable nouns. Example, neither of them went to school. Neither of the boys passed the test. Third, we can use neither on its own in replies when referring to two things that have already been mentioned. Example, 
Which one do you like best? The red one or the blue one? Neither. I like the green one. So we are using neither to avoid repetition. So instead of saying I don't like uh, the blue one and I don't like the red one, just say neither. So it means neither of them. I like the green one. Four, neither nor. Is used when something is not true for two people or two things. The verb is always in the affirmative and normally agrees a number with the second subject. Example, neither Mary nor Jane likes tennis. So, a remark says the verb is always in the affirmative and normally agrees in number with the second subject. So, neither Mary nor Jim. So, هذوما زوز. So, المفروض نستعملو الفعل في الجمع. خاطر عنا Mary and Jim. Normally, we use like tennis. But here, حسب القاعدة, the verb agrees with the second subject used in the sentence. So, كينا نحكيو على جيم أكاها. So, the verb in the present takes an S. Neither Mary nor Jane likes tennis. Five remark. We use neither plus auxiliary or modal verb plus subject to mean also not. It is used to agree with a negative statement. Example, I can't speak Japanese. Neither can I. Another example, I don't like dogs. Neither do I. Neither does my mother. And finally, let's see the uses of either or either. Either is used in affirmative sentences and used to talk about two people, things or groups. So, the uses of either in a sentence, we can use either plus countable noun in the singular to talk about two choices or possibilities. Example, either coat is okay as they both suit me or suit you. So, the meaning here, it doesn't matter which one of the two coats you choose. Second, either of plus the, these, those, are possessive with plural noun. It can be followed by either the singular or plural verb. Example, either of the hotels should do. We don't mind wish. Another example, either of these two bicycles is or are suitable for my daughter. She doesn't mind which. So here we can use the verb in the singular or plural. Both are correct. Third remark, either plus a singular countable noun can mean both. Example, there were trees on either side of the road, which mean both sides of the road. Either or is used to connect two clauses. It takes singular or plural verb dependent on the subject which follows or. Example, either we go by train or we rent a car. Which do you prefer? Either my parents or Linda's parents are going to pick up to pick us up at the airport. So we, in the first example, we go, either we go by train or we rent. So verb in the plural, and uh, same as the second example, 
or because we have Linda's parents, so plural here. Next, we can use either as a pronoun. Example, which sweater do you like? The green one or the blue one? I don't like either, which means I don't like the green one and I don't like the blue one as well. Next, we can use either as an adverb after a negative verb. Example, it was a really nice hotel and it wasn't very expensive either. Okay, so here it is used as an adverb. Another example, she doesn't like eggs and she doesn't like fish either. Next, it is used to agree with a negative statement. Like in, I don't like cheese, I don't like it either. So here, we used either to agree with the statement that it says, I don't like cheese, agreeing here with a negative statement. So. This is the end of our lesson. I hope it was clear enough. If you liked this video, please don't forget to throw a like on this video, share it with your friends, and why not subscribe to our channel for more videos. So, uh, see you next time, guys.